Hey y'all, this is Kevin Campos. I am the Sustainable Solutions Grower Rep for Valent USA up here in beautiful Northern California. This morning we are in an organic almond orchard and we are doing a crack out with some almonds to find some navel orange worm and see uh, how bad the issue is in this orchard. Uh, I'm gonna pan the camera around and as you can see, uh, these trees don't really have much left on them. They all got shook last week. Uh, they got swept into windrows the last couple days and uh, they will be left in those windrows for about a week or so before being picked up and taken off to the huller. Uh, this is one of the later pollinator varieties, Monterey. So to put into timing perspective, uh, the non Perel, the most popular variety, got shook in early August. And these pollinator varieties were in the middle of September and, and this is one of the latest pollinator varieties just getting shook. So plenty of time for navel orange room to make their damage on these later ones. So you gotta be a little more aggressive later in the season sometimes. Uh, I'm gonna come over here. I've set aside some almonds. Uh, as you can see what these moths are capable of. Uh, that, that nut right there, that's, that's not a real marketable nut. Can't really do much with that. Uh, that won't make it anywhere near out of the processor. And so uh, these things can cause quite the issue. Uh, when we're scouting for them, we come out here, we look for this frass on the holes. As you can see that white frass is what we're looking for on the top there and, and sometimes it's pretty obvious sometimes you got to look for it a little harder um, it'll make its way even to the shell when you're cracking them out you can you can get some frass inside there uh, you can kind of see right there there's some more frass in there um, uh, these navel orange worm they've they've become a pretty big problem in the last 10 years in this in these uh in this almond orchards and and they've even made it into the pistachios so they they can become a pretty big issue They've got uh, five generations is what they're finding now. So they're pretty much out here all year round. And I'm gonna come back over to this tree cause I could see one right away, but these trees are all shook. So they're all done for the year, but, but they don't get them all. And so what happens is, uh, is almonds will get left on the tree like this. And you hope that there's not very many, but this salmon will turn into what we call a mummy at the uh, end of the season. And these are just a navel orange worms paradise to over harbor in the winter and come out in the spring and, and become an issue again. So uh, a lot of guys will come through in the come winter time and they'll have a crew out here either hitting the, hitting the branches, knocking them off with sticks, or a lot of guys will come through with shakers and they will shake these trees again just to get all the nuts on the ground and then they will come back through with a mower or a shredder and get these nuts shredded up so that uh, navel orange room have less, less place to harbor and, and kind of help themselves control. And uh, out in these organic settings, life can be a little harder, obviously. You got limited tools. And with navel orange worm, conventional guys are even having a problem with them. So, so these organic guys, you gotta, you gotta be a little more strategic. You gotta be a little more, uh, a little more timely with, with what you're doing to control them. Uh, scouting is a huge thing. Everyone needs to, to be on top of the scouting out with these navel orange worm or they can get out of hand pretty quick. Processors reporting 30 to 40 percent damage at times on bad years with these pests so on top of everything else that these farmers are dealing with uh 30 40 percent is it's almost half your crop gone with one pest um so i encourage everyone to reach out or look at our website we've got a lot of good tools on there of information about certain products and i hope everyone has a happy harvest and we we'll look forward to next season